Hi guys, this is Creative Cuts, a channel where I build, paint and create things. In today's video I'm going back to one of my favourite things to do, scratch build. A friend of mine said he was putting together a Ravenwing army and wanted something unique. Every project needs a kickstart of inspiration. And this project started with this bad boy I found at the local bargain shop. Completely the wrong overall scale, but full of parts I could possibly use. I stripped it back to its constituent parts and was really happy with all my puzzle pieces. Anything I don't use will go into my box. <coughs> okay, boxes of bits for future builds. Speaking of future builds, here's a fighter jet model that I never built and decided to give my future self a box of wonderful bits. So yesterday's future project becomes today's current project. I also grabbed a couple of tiny tractors because I liked the wheels. Again, I stripped these down and added them to my box of bits. I also was given a couple of boxes of Lego. Not my first choice of modelling material, but I'm amazed at how things have moved on since I last played with Lego. And now you get some really cool parts nowadays. So don't overlook even simple solutions. And that's part of why I love scratch building so much, because it really gets your brain to think in very different ways. I also picked up some Space Marine bikers for cheap on eBay, as even though I hate the GW bikes, the models themselves are great for converting. Here are a few Blood Angel chopper conversions I'd made many moons ago. So be free with your imagination. Who knows what you can build? And would you believe it, the Lego wheels are almost an exact match in size to original Games Workshop ones. So many options. I started playing around with a few configurations, working hard and not just reverting to my six-year-old self playing with Lego. No, definitely working hard. <laughs> I had an old Rhino kit floating around and cut out a few pieces. Again, more puzzle pieces, but the basic chassis for most older Space Marine tanks derives from a Rhino base. But that's not how we do things on this channel. So out came the razor saw and I started cutting it into pieces. And if you don't know what a razor saw is, it, it's basically a miniature tendon saw for those familiar with woodworking. And for those who aren't, it's a straight handheld saw, which has a very fine cutting edge which means you can get really nice clean cuts when cutting miniatures. I also cut up the Space Marine bikes into usable pieces, this time with a set of angled wire cutters. Whatever tool will do the job really. I got a bit carried away and even started cutting up bits of sprue. I had loosely started to put a few parts together and held these in place with some blue tack. A simple way to try out your ideas, whilst having the freedom to change your mind. I wanted to build a trike of sorts, and wanted some fat wheels, so I shaved a couple down using my Dremel. You can do this with just sandpaper, but I feel a Dremel gives you much more control, and boy does it save time. I still use sandpaper to give it a final rub down to tidy everything up. The original request from my friend was to build a Sakaran tank for him, similar to the one I built in a previous video. Link above if you want to watch that in full. But I came up with the idea of a special kind of recon trike that could play as a Sakaran in friendly games. so I needed a turret. My toy truck at the beginning of this video had a great turret, and with a bit of detailing, definitely something I could make use of. A great way to make gun barrels is styrene tubes. I keep a range of sizes and try to buy ones that will interlock with each other. I left these long on purpose so I could cut them back later as needed. I pulled out my razor saw again and decided it was time to commit to an idea and started gluing pieces together. I find this process really relaxing as you can let your mind drift, just adding little pieces, trimming little pieces away. 
I also wasn't really happy with the turret as I thought it had too much height and I wanted something a little more low profile. So I used some tape as a guide to help me cut equally around all sides. But because I had cut away the base, I needed to create a new one. So I traced the outline on a sheet of styrene and carefully cut this to size, leaving it a tiny bit larger so I could sand back to a perfect fit. Now I needed a way to attach my turret, so I cobbled together a rotating system from various hatches and covers I had in my bits box. The next step was to add some tracks to my trike tank. This somehow gave me a feeling from bygone wars where half tracks and the like were used. I carefully bent the rhino tracks into shape, attaching them in small stages, letting each step dry and then gluing the next section on. I also had a giant gaping hole in the front of my trike, so I needed to make a bulkhead. I cut something out of styrene and sanded back the internal console control that you usually get in the back of the Rhino. Now I had a basic shape to things, I could work on reposing my driver. By cutting at the knee and hip joints, as well as the arms, I was able to repose this fella quite easily. Using the sprues I'd cut up earlier, I built a frame around the Rhino chassis. This was a little bit fiddly to get everything straight and lined up from all angles, but with a bit of patience I managed to get it to a point where I was happy. Next it was time to start adding some details some hatches and some top mounted weaponry. And then I made some side mounts from my last cannons using the pilot seats from the jet model I'd saved. Now that the body of my trike was taking shape, I decided it was time to work on my turret a bit. I cut the styrene tubes to size as now I had the overall proportion of what my vehicle would be. I could choose the right barrel length that worked. I also capped the barrels off with some Lego. I decided because my turret would be quite fragile, it would be a good idea to magnetize it for easy transport and storage. Next it was time to give everything a first pass with a nail file. These are a great hobby tool as you can buy packs of cheap disposable nail files and each file will actually last you ages and small enough to get into some of those tight spaces. Next I started detailing my turret, adding various bits from my box to give it a full Swiss Army knife of add-ons. As a special surprise, I'd ordered some etched brass raven wing iconography. I thought it would give it that added touch. And I sent him the rest of the unused symbols so he can use them for the rest of his army if he wants to. I then grabbed my airbrush and gave everything a good coat of primer. Pure black is fun, but in my opinion, Black looks better when it's softened by another colour, in this case neutral grey. I then gave all the light parts an undercoat of pure white. This meant the lenses, the lights, the power reactor parts of the LAS cannons and all the insignia. I also gave the tracks a nice coat of gun metal. I then gave everything a light wash with some homemade dark brown and black. And then I picked out some of the details with a lighter grey, sometimes switching to an even lighter grey and leaving a few scratches and battle usage. I then loaded up my airbrush with some pure white ink and gave my lights a halo glow. Lightly does it here, a little goes a long way. 
I sprayed some transparent red on the hatch lenses and immediately they look like they're glowing. For the last cannons, I like to do them in blue and thought this would also work for the engine exhausts. For those familiar with my channel, you will know how much I love my candy paint. I painted in a few more details and then grabbed a small makeup brush and dabbed in some orange pigment powder made up from some ground up chalks along the tracks in the undercarriage. And that pretty much wraps this video up. What started off as a wild, far out idea actually became something real, something playable. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more, then you can subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest videos. You can leave the video a like and even share it with a friend. Thank you all for the amazing continued support. Spread the love and always trust in your power to imagine. Enjoy.